Yes, I, I would certainly agree with that, uh, not only in theory, but also in action. That is, uh, there are two intellectual tasks, one and the one which I was discussing, to try to create the vision of a future just society. Uh, another task is to understand very clearly the nature of power and oppression and terror and destruction in our own society. Uh, and that certainly includes the institutions you mentioned, as well as the central institutions of any industrial society, namely the, uh, the economic, commercial, and financial institutions. In particular, in the coming period, the great multinational corporations, which are not very far from us physically tonight. Uh, those are the basic institutions of uh, oppression and coercion and autocratic rule that appear to be neutral. After all, they say, well, we're subject to the democracy of the marketplace. Still, I think it would be a great shame to lose or to put aside entirely the somewhat more abstract and philosophical, if you like, task of trying to draw the connections between a concept of human nature that gives full scope to freedom and dignity and creativity and other fundamental human characteristics uh, and relates that to uh, some notion of social structure in which those properties could be realized, in which meaningful human life could take place. And in fact, if we are thinking of social transformation or social revolution, though it would be absurd, of course, to try to draw out in detail the point that we're hoping to reach, still we should know something about where we think we're going.